So in the next few videos, we're going to start looking at uh, 3D examples. So again, it's all going to be triangles, but it's going to be in 3D. So you have to be able to picture uh, 3D shapes like cubes and pyramids and stuff. So we'll get a bit of practice and it should get easier anyway. Um, the whole idea is that you should make, so I'll, I'll just say you want to turn 3D into 2D. Okay, that's the whole trick is to break up 3D shapes into loads of 2D triangles. Uh, and it just makes everything way easier because then once you have 2D triangles, then you can just use your four rules again. One, two, three, four. I'm not going to write them all out. Uh, so Pythagoras, sine, cos, tan, sine rule, and cosine rule. And generally, when you're breaking up things into triangles, you'll find that it's actually generally going to be just one and two you use. So just sine, cos, and tan, and Pythagoras, which is even easier than using the sine rule and the cosine rule. Okay, so we're going to look at one example in this video, and we'll see how we get on. We're going to look at a few more videos. Uh, we're just going to practice and practice and practice. So here we have the question in front of us. Um, this is a picture of a cube here. So we have a cube where every side is five centimeters. So this side, this side, this side, this side, etc., etc. All five centimeters, and it's asking us to find the angle theta between the line AD and HD. Okay. So hopefully the um, drawing of the cube is good enough. So there's the top of the cube and there's the bottom of the cube. Uh, this here goes from point A to point D, so it goes like a diagonal that goes uh, through the inside of the cube, and then HD is a diagonal on the bottom face of the cube, okay? So it's asking us to find that angle theta there, okay? So hopefully that uh, drawing makes enough sense. It's hard to make a perfect drawing on this. But anyway, we'll, we'll give it a shot. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, so the point's already labeled first, so that's good. I'm gonna draw out the triangle, AHD, AHD, it's going to be a right angle triangle. This is going to be theta. This is going to be D, H, and A. Again, we know it's right angle because we're talking about a cube. So, um, And we know that this side here is going to be 5. The reason for that is because it's one of the sides of the cube. Okay, So we don't know what AD is. We don't know what HD is. So, okay, so we can, can we use, we go through them. One, two, three, four. We can't use Pythagoras because we only have one side. We can't use sine, cos, or tan because we only have one side. We don't have an angle or anything. We can't use the sine rule or the cosine rule. Okay, so we're going to leave this for now. We'll come back to it. Um, I'll go to a different color. And then we're going to do triangles. So we need to either find this side AD. We need to find this side HD. Okay, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and find this bottom one HD. So I'm going to draw the triangle EHD out. Okay. So the triangle EHD. There we go. It's going to be five. Right angle. This is going to be five. So this bottom one, it's going to be E, H, and D. So E, H, and D. And we're looking for this side here, HD, which I'm just going to call x okay so i'm going to go ahead and do this in bright blue so this is going to be just pythagoras our first formula so it's x squared is equal to five squared plus five squared that means x squared is equal to 25 plus 25 x squared is equal to 50 and that means that x is equal to the square root of 50 okay so put a little box around that and then I'm going to scribble that in here. So this is the square root of 50. Okay, so now we're going to have another look at this. We can't use Pythagoras. Well, we can use Pythagoras if we want to find AD, but we want to find the angle. So we're going to look at using sine, cos, or tan. We're going to use tan because we have the opposite and the adjacent side. So I'll do this in yellow. I'm going to say tan of theta. So remember, opposite over adjacent. So it's going to be 5 over root 50. We're going to find the angle. So that means we're going to use the inverse tan. So theta is going to be equal to tan inverse 5 over root 50. Stick that into your calculator and you're going to get your answer. That theta is equal to 35.26 degrees. Okay. And there we have it done. So each individual question was just a Pythagoras and then using tan. Okay. So not too difficult, but it can be sometimes quite difficult to, to think how will I begin this? How will I start it? So again, just draw a couple of different triangles out, flat triangles in 2D, and apply the four rules to it. Pythagoras, sine, cos, tan, sine rule, cosine rule, and eventually you'll find your answer, okay? Uh, we're gonna do another example 
3D examples next. Uh, we'll see you then.